So the cool thing about living by these is that you can do this. <laughs> What's going on guys? This is Carporn Kings and welcome to the vlog. I want to take a moment, if you're new to the vlog, then please hit the like button and subscribe because that will really help us out and that will let you guys know when I'm posting more vlogs or videos or anything like that. Alright, so what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to be washing the Mustang again. <laughs> and uh, what I wanted to do today is actually um, film the car, like, you know, the 2007 uh, V6 Mustang that I built that's like a true GT killer. <laughs> But yeah, so um, we're going to be trying to shoot some video of that Mustang today. And I'm going to try to you know, edit it and then get it up on the channel for people to see it, uh, see what they think about it and stuff like that. So yeah, so we're going to wash the car and then we're going to be rolling out. All right, so the car has been washed and now we're going to be drying it off. And this I had already shown in another video, but this is a thing you can buy at Walmart for like $10. And it is a pretty good deal for that. This is the uh, box right here. Yeah, but you can get this, it dries everything. Like this thing is great. You can use it for anything. So highly recommend getting one of these for 10 bucks at Walmart. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna dry off the car and then we're gonna be rolling out. All right, see you then. So car is dry. That towel works pretty good. <laughs> I was only here for like five minutes and then it completely drew, completely dried. So, I guess we're gonna be heading to the spot to try and shoot this. All right, I'll see you guys there. That's gonna be the exhaust clip for today. <laughs> I can never understand what Haas GT is, but yep, there's the one right there. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a GT too? No, mine's actually a. Uh, like I said, I love those 2000, 2004. Do you yeah. know what bicycle that's called? Um, man, I can't remember what it's it. called. I know that these are S197s, but I can't remember what the other one was called. See, it wasn't. See, for me, I didn't really quite like that year, so I wasn't paying too much attention to it. It's <laughs> my favorite year. I know, but like, I know you can get them for like, like really Mustang, cheap. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Dude, I don't know. These they ones remind me of the. These ones remind me of like the '69 or like '70s. Yeah, you know? that's true. That's the reason. Like, I wish like. It's a bit more narrow though. Yeah. Well, I wish that they would have put the fuel tank in the bag. That oh, would have yeah, been yeah. badass if they would have done that. The thing about it, this one is. Dude, is that like, carbon fiber? No, I don't, I don't know what that is. The one the thing about this thing is, it's not truly a Mustang GT. They got stuff added on to it. I think. It, I think the whole Haas thing, I never heard of that. See, I've never heard of Haas, I think, I think and it's probably, it it's, it's probably got either, either I don't know, man, because I've never seen Haas like before. Fast, I've heard Boss. Know? Yeah, but I was, I was like, but is like, that Boss That's there? what I thought. I thought that for a second, but like, I have no idea. So I mean, Haas must say. That's a 2016 Jeep Rubicon over there, mm -hmm. and I raced my friend, and there's a 6.0 <laughs> V8. Damn, big ass V6. <laughs> yeah, it's a four liter. Four liter? Yeah. God, 4.0. 
Yeah. Right now, I have about a uh, from what I remember. Man, what did the dino say again? I think it said I was at. Was it? Man, I think it was two two eighty. No, two seventy five uh, torque and two sixty five horsepower. So, you know, it's pretty up there. Yeah, for a V six. Yeah. Because I think like right now I'm running, I have more than like stocked uh, GTs of like the lesser year. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's actually pretty up. For yeah. A I know the, the, uh, the GTs. And see, I'm still running like most of like my parts. Most of my parts have about like 140,000 miles on them. <laughs> so like, I mean, I haven't changed my coal pack or nothing. And people like, are saying, you can get, yeah, that was new. I had to replace that one uh, when I first got it. So do you have really, I mean, people, people talk shit about Mustang. Like, do you really have any problems with it though? I mean. I've never had one problem at all. And I've driven this car, uh, hey, how many times did we go across uh, to California and back? Like, was it three times? GT yeah, three like times and back. So I, I've driven this car three times back to California and back to Florida, no problems, nothing. Not even a pop tire, nothing. I have, I've never even, I haven't even changed my tires and I've had them for like, since I bought the car. Yeah, I was about to say, aren't you gonna miss some, some different tires, something like that? For, uh, man, I see, the way I've been thinking is that like right now I'm trying to get uh, posi traction. I'm trying to get posi traction right now on my Mustang. So I'm kind of like, if I do, I'm just going to go lighter. Uh, see, I'm still running on stock on the wheels yeah, yeah. and uh, stock rims. And, uh, you know, I'm still, it's, I don't know, man. It's just like really weird. I don't want to put my money. Because see, the whole thing when I uh, first bought it, um, they were saying I had looked at wheels and it was like $1,000 just to get all the all the rims. And I was like, yeah. dude, I didn't want to spend 1000 just on like a cosmetic item. So I was kind of like, I'm going to put thousand, like 1000 into the engine. That's what I was thinking to myself. So that's what I'm, see, I'm still kind of like, I put long tube headers. So the reason why I put long tube headers is because I want to go supercharging versus turbos. So I rather, well, I'd rather go supercharging. Bad, supercharging bad. Yeah. I, I heard it's like really bad on the engine and it's less life engine. Yeah. Engine life. Yeah, but I still just, I still love that wine, man. <laughs> you know, the supercharger gives it. Then? See, turbos give it like a, man, it, there is a little bit of a sound you get from the turbo, but like you can still hear the supercharger. Like I don't know, I think I like you the supercharger like the, uh, a little bit longer. But the other thing that attracted me to the supercharger is the fact that um, like shorty headers on a V6, it just it sounds like as if you're trying Does to be a rice loud? burner. Yeah, I can actually share it up. Hold up, one six. <laughs> yeah. So this is just like the idle. Yeah. And then so let's say if we're gonna go start revving up. Six. Yeah, that's not like a V8. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, it's kind of funny when you put it in drive, it starts kind of like giving those like this little, uh, yeah, it's not as loud. Yeah. See, when I first uh, started up, it always gives off like this heavy, yeah, like yeah. deep, like sounding in the morning. Song, dude, it's nuts, dude. But the whole reason why it sounds so heavy is just because of the fact that. <laughs> it sounds like a V8. Like, yeah. No one ever. Assumed, yeah. No one ever. Yeah. Assumed. I've actually had, uh, I've gone to so many places where people were like, people were telling me, oh no, that's, that's not a V6. No, no. And I was like, dude. <laughs> I heard that. I was like, I think yeah. Wow. <laughs> How much uh, long to, like, what'd you do to make the exhaust sound like that? Cause that's so, like okay. So what I did right here is uh, I put in, so, okay. I'll, I'll explain everything. So I got JLT quarter intake, which. I had a bunch of tunes, so like every part I bought onto it, I have to go to Pensacola to put tunes on it. Yeah. Because that's, you know, all wrap up in one package. But see, I put in long tube headers, um, X-pipe, dual uh, magnet flows, and I removed the caps. So there's oh, no caps yeah. on it. That's the reason why it's so much louder. And see, I, see, I don't know, the reason why I attracted me to it was just the fact that like, see, I had heard that you get a lot more horsepower just from taking off the caps, because you're, you're, like your engine, like you know you're uh, trying to breathe out yeah, yeah, it's not it's yeah. not restricted anymore so is that worse for the car or it's actually it actually wouldn't really matter all right for sure it actually doesn't really matter i mean it's just really like okay here's my thing okay when i lived in california i lived in the mojave desert desert everywhere right we had calisthenic converters on everyone had calisthenic converters you can't even mod your car in california because of how yeah. hard it is yeah okay. like they're just so harsh like if you get caught for having mods in your car they'll literally say okay Go to uh, like uh, they, I think you get a fine, and then they say that you and you can no longer drive your car unless they get a vehicle inspection saying that your car is stock. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's insane, dude. I've never heard something like that before. Yeah, but so, so also I have a 373 gear in it as well. So like I, if his is a stock gear for the 2005 to 2009, uh, my gearing is better than his. Yeah. I, I mean, never heard of a I think. Like that. 
Well, most GTs, I think even even the uh, 2010s and up, they they uh, they didn't start putting 373s up until like the 2015s. So yeah, my gearing is gonna be a lot. Like my takeoffs, they're great. I mean, I've actually uh, I've actually beaten most of my friends just on takeoff. But yeah, that's that's what I've noticed. Get the top end. We'll see. What I've been noticing is that like around like 85 miles an hour to 90 miles an hour is when see the automatic starts giving me lag. And I'm noticing that like that's when everyone just like takes off right yeah. there because like most of the people have manuals and with the automatic you get screwed. <laughs> but I mean, So we are at the film site and there are two cops on the side of us, <laughs> which is crazy. But I mean, I'm not breaking the law by filming, so hopefully I'm not. <laughs> uh, so, you know, if I put this up on YouTube, I should be all right, but it's crazy. There's two of them over there. But yeah, so filming, gonna post the videos after I get done filming those and yeah. You know, once again, please like and subscribe to Carporn Kings. You know, that's us. We're doing all this work, filling this Mustang over here in Pennsylvania. Oh, my bad. In Panama City Beach. That is the Hathaway Bridge, that gigantic bridge. And Saints playing in the water, and my mom's over there. <laughs> Boy, that's a nice view. So we just got done shooting the car, and this is it behind us. So far, so good with the uh, cops and all that. But yeah, they haven't said anything, so I guess it's fine. I, I mean, I did everything I needed to do. But yeah, so this is over in Panama City Beach, my little secret spot. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's crazy nice there. All right, let's go. The rest of the sunset. Over here in Panama City Beach, man. This place is beautiful. Got a beach, got the Mustang, the GT Killer Sting. Got Saint, Saint, hey! And my mom. Mom, say hi. I can say hi. <laughs> What's going on, guys? We are the last stop, and this is gonna be it. This is where we're shooting on the top of this uh, parking lot. <laughs> so let's say, mom. <laughs> and this is the car. We're shooting way above here. The view is crazy though. Say, stay over there. The view is crazy. But you know, once again, please like and subscribe. <laughs> that really helped me out on this vlog. But yeah, I think in right now, I'm probably gonna cut it right here. And you guys will see the content that I produced today. But I wanna say, this has been Car Kings, and please hit that like button and subscribe. That will really help us out at the channel and that'll make us be able to release more content and understand that we actually have a following and that'll help us out. So please, once again, please like and subscribe. <laughs> and also follow me on Instagram, which is at original underscore beach underscore dude. And I have some following there and I post videos and stuff like that on there as well. So please uh, go follow me on there if you, if you want to do that as well. All right, this has been Carport Keens and I'll see you guys later.